Okay, right now I'm with our master technician and inventor, creative guru, Chris P, where we developed all this amazing chase equipment. We've taken equipment from that was normally made for this sport and totally customized it, rebuilt it, and actually created a lot of our own. Reason being, normal lure coursing for sight hounds and other, um, uh, sight hounds basically is what it's designed for. Um, a, a loop or two around the course and they're done because of their endurance level. Huskies, of course, having high endurance levels can run all day. So the machine can't keep up with them. And what Chris is showing right now is our original machine. And we tore it up. So I'm gonna turn it over to Chris and he's gonna tell you about it. Chris? Well, this is the first generation battery lure coursing machine that we started out with. And we had problems with overheating you know with a short time we tried water cooling nothing worked so this didn't last long we got rid of it we went to our second iteration of battery power that you see down here and this machine's a little better but i'd say you get 15 minutes out of it it's designed to run off of one battery maybe two you can see back here that we we run it off of five deep cell batteries and I'd say maybe 15, 20 minutes max out of it. So we needed more for the, for the Huskies than that. So what we did is we developed the AC, you know, house current machines, and we took the old motor from their original lure machine and used it for the pulley wheel. And what we've done is hooked it over here to an electric motor and with the use of pulleys we've increased the power of it and I'd say that machine would run an hour maybe all day if the dogs don't get the lure and uh, we have two so if one overheats the next one will run and we cycle back and forth thanks Chris what um He's saying about when the, if the dogs don't get the lure. The problem is um, the dogs, these machines, the, the original machine, which he showed you, which is now in pieces right over here, that would run that because it's battery powered. As he said, we're using the deep cell batteries. Is that correct, Chris? Yeah. And this machine down here, which is a little higher quality, will run for about, I would say um, a couple laps, maybe five, six laps and then it'll start to overheat and when the dogs get the line we've actually had one catch on fire yeah we actually had one catch on fire and when the dogs catch the lure as chris said the machine even heats up more so because you're putting you're putting more resistance on it and they do catch the lure those machines original machines will run about 40 miles per hour the lure our machine with the gearing and everything will probably hit 35 huskies and a lot of other dogs can usually run about 30 miles per hour tops. The sight hounds, which lure coursing is designed for originally, the sport, can run 40 miles per hour or so. So that's the difference, but Zorro is pretty quick and he actually can run as fast as 30 miles per hour. He can run as fast as our electric machines now and uh, catch the lure. So we're probably gonna gear him a little lower. Is that correct? Yeah, we'll put a smaller dry gear and a larger load gear, or actually, I'm sorry, smaller gear here will actually lower the size of this pulley, which will make it turn faster, giving us more speed. But we have to be careful because we don't want to lose our torque, you know, our driving force. So it's a, a fine balance between the two. Great, great. So as you can see, what you've just been hearing in the background are the wolf pack as they want to run princess is taking a little breather over here and jag is always doing his thing and that's sleeping <laughs> as we do this so thanks chris for the interview and um this is a wolf driver signing off for you there's jag